hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make spaghetti carbonara so simple and easy and so fast to make we will start by adding just this little amount of olive oil one spoon over here i have a pancetta you can use guanciale if you want. This is pancetta. This is the side part of the meat, beside the stomach. You can use the guanciale, which is known as the chick. But I'm using pancetta. So I introduce into the pot. to fry for a, a bit. Over here as you can see my water is, has been boiling. This is the water for the pasta, for the spaghetti. So I start by adding salt. Salt. Add my spaghetti. This is recipe for two people. So in the measuring it. Don't add oil into the pot of spaghetti. I notice that some people, while cooking spaghetti, they like to add oil. You don't need to add oil into the spaghetti. Now, while I wait for this one to fry a bit, I start by preparing the sauce. This is parmesan. I prepared it myself. I bought the fresh one and then grind it this, this way. So I'm going to pour it into this. By the way, I'm going to be adding garlic. Garlic is optional. You can as well do without it. So into the parmesan. I'll be adding two eggs to stay it together. Stay very well. Set it aside. Make sure you say your pancetta or guanciale constantly so it doesn't get burned. So the pancetta has fried enough. This is the exact color I wanted to obtain. I remove the garlic now. So let's take it out of the pan. And then we are going 
going to add the spaghetti. This spaghetti was meant to cook for eight minutes, but I allowed to cook for six minutes. The remaining two minutes is going to be cooked inside here. So it also depends on how soft you want your spaghetti. So let's introduce into the pan. Set everything together. Mind you, you don't have to add any salt because the pancetta and the parmesan already contain a lot of salt. That's the reason why you didn't see me adding any more salt. I add my black pepper. Mix thoroughly and of the heat. And continue mixing. You can now introduce your sauce. Remember, I off the heat because otherwise you turn out having a fried egg instead of carbonara. To make it more creamier, you add some of the pasta water. Can see how creamy it is. Can I reintroduce your pancetta? Just part of it because we are going to use some parts after. Carbonara is ready. Adding some of the pancetta I left earlier on. This is the result. Perfect carbonara. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.